Hello, Greg Nassif, Online Tennis Instruction. I'm here with Nadim Nasser and six students here in Costa Rica doing our second five-day VIP Ultimate Experience. And today I had three gentlemen on the court who all had one-handed backhands. So we worked on the one-handed backhand and the, the, the biggest um, issue that all three of them had was getting the racket low enough in the slot position. So in the slot position, we want to try to get the racket, see how it's slightly below my hand, and on the inside here, so it's between my hand and my body. And all three of them would either not get the racket head to drop below the hand, or they would get the racket all the way around. And then the swing would then, they would swing this way to contact. That would make it almost impossible for them to hit topspin, but also resulted in more of a, uh, a swing that would finish across their body. So the drill I used with them today was a drill I learned from Steve Smith and the drill is you, you have the student swing underneath the ball so you really emphasize getting low and, 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 and swinging up to contact. So I'm going to demonstrate the drill here and I'm going to swing underneath the ball and purposely miss it. Then you're going to alternate between missing it and hitting it. So again I'm going to miss and then I'm going to hit. And we'll do it one more time. I'm going to miss and then hit. So let's take a look at footage of the student working on his backhand to show the improvement he was able to make. We're going to start by showing you the original footage of his backhand. You'll notice he doesn't get the racket below the ball, he has more of a horizontal swing where he pulls the swing across his body. Now let's slow it down. You'll see that he struggles to get his racket below the ball and in the slot position. He then pulls the swing across his body, making it impossible to hit true topspin and shortening the hitting zone. Now let's watch him working through the drill. And you'll see how he's going to swing beneath the ball and purposely miss it. Then he's going to follow it up by swinging underneath and now connecting with the ball. He's going to repeat this drill over and over. Here you go. Now we can see how he's able to consistently get the racket low in the slot position and swing vertically upwards. Now let's compare the before and after footage of his backhand. You'll see over here on the right hand side how he gets the racket much low in the slot position. The racket is now closed with the strings point slightly downward. Now as he swings up to contact you'll notice on the right hand side how the swing shape is more vertical giving him a longer hitting zone and the ability to hit true topspin. So as you can see from the video footage of the students, this drill really helped them to really overemphasize getting that racket low enough so then they can swing up and get, create good topspin and also lengthen the hitting zone.